Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to talk about the great embarrassment that is the great embarrassment to the mainstream mathematics community those who call themselves professors of mathematics <clears throat> those who call themselves math educators those who have been claiming that calculus had to be made rigorous so without further ado let's begin so <clears throat> as most of you know uh, some time ago about a couple of years ago i revealed my historic geometric theorem now what is the historic geometric theorem all about well what the the historic theorem tells us is that newton and leibniz didn't understand what they were doing and moreover that those who came after them didn't understand either. And why didn't they understand? They didn't understand because they thought that uh, this finite difference, okay, this finite difference here was not properly defined for derivatives. Okay, so what they did was they took the limit they took the limit of this finite difference as h goes to zero. It turns out there was no need to do that because, because this particular finite difference, and let's just get rid of this nonsense in the front here because it's totally unnecessary, this garbage. Okay. So we get rid of that. <clears throat> this here is actually equal. It's actually equal, and I think I need to select my pen here again. Okay, this here is equal to the derivative plus the difference. And now what is this difference? What is this Q of XH? I called it Q of XH, but it could, could have been called anything. It's just the difference in slopes. Okay, so let's look at this. So the difference in slopes is stated in this theorem of mine. So if you have a diagram like you see in front of you over here, um, this, this, uh, where I'm pointing to with my mouse is the slope of the tangent line and this whole line here is the slope of the non-parallel secant and of course if you if you take this distance here away from the entire distance and I'll show you in a second how that's done then you have what's called the difference okay so um, the difference let's go, go back here and draw the difference so it's as if you have uh, a slope like that with a tangent line with a tangent line like that okay right so so this here is a non-parallel secant this line here um i should have made it a red line right yeah okay let's do that let's 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 do this properly okay let's make that a red line so this line here is the non-parallel secant and <clears throat> this line here is the tangent line okay so now if we were going to uh, take the slope in terms of rise over run like that then this the tan of this angle will give us the slope of the tangent line right which of course is the derivative and then of course this here on the left gives us the slope of the red the non-parallel red secant line this line here okay and so that that would mean the whole line here that would mean this entire line here over this distance is a slope of the red line and then just this line over this distance is the slope of the tangent line and of course this here is the difference right this is q of xh it's as simple as that so it turns out it turns out folks that there was nothing to rigorize and that the method that used uh, that newton and leibniz used was perfectly valid 
they didn't know why it worked obviously but it was valid and you could just throw away the terms which contained the factor in x because those were the difference see so for example if you had the function x squared you'd end up with something like 2x plus h and it was perfectly valid just to toss the h away there was no need for uh, fallacious arguments such as uh, evanescent quantities and infinitesimals and ultimate ratios and all the other garbage that Newton and Leibniz talked about and the incredibly arrogant stupid fools who came after them up till this day so um, the morons and I have to call them that because they didn't realize these things and they're still rejecting my correction and I'm correcting them and they are, <clears throat> they are refusing to admit they're wrong because there was nothing to to rigorize there was nothing to be made rigorous calculus was perfectly rigorous the way they were doing it um, so the fools who came after them uh, are, are very embarrassed and they hate my geometric theorem to which I shall place a link inside the details section and what it shows you it tells you that this um, finite difference that you see in red here okay this this uh, finite difference where I'm pointing is actually equal to the slope of the tangent line plus the difference this difference here and in geometry <coughs> the derivative is just simply f of 2 over h okay which if we look at this part here this here is f of 2 okay and this is h and um, f of 1 if we go back here again we'll see that f of 1 is this part here this part here is f of 1 and so the whole line is f of 1 plus f of 2 and f of 1 plus f of 2 over h is this finite difference okay <clears throat> so um, the baboons who constitute what is called mainstream math academia and are constantly awarding themselves Abel prizes and all sorts of other fields medal prizes etc are rejecting my correction are refusing to acknowledge that I'm that I'm right and they are wrong and uh, this is basically what I'm telling you in this video now this is just one small part of it by the way um, I fixed the definition of the derivative with valid proof and everything else that you need and I also showed the world how they could form a sound integral definition out of it okay and this article tells you how to do it it's a very important article any mathematician or so-called uh, math academic should download this article print it not one time but five times and put it somewhere in a safe because this here is the reason why calculus works and there was nothing to be made rig rigorous it was rigorous all the time from the beginning um, and here I am telling you these things okay so um, I am bitter about the fact that I have not been recognized for revealing these things to the world but much more now this here is is uh, nothing compared to the new calculus from which it was realized by the way see because initially <clears throat> I was trying to see if I could rigorize um, the meanings, the, f the fake meanings, based on uh, what I was taught at college which or university. I didn't mean to do that, which was taking <laughs> the limit here. Totally unnecessary, totally unnecessary, okay. So all we had to do was just realize this identity. A very simple identity, by the way. It's based entirely on geometry and it solves the problem of rigor in uh, Newton's and Leibniz's calculus so they didn't really do anything wrong by just tossing away the, the H terms it's perfectly valid because those terms are the difference in slopes okay so um, I'm gonna leave it at that if you're not already a subscriber become a subscriber um, tell your friends about my channel and also please contribute to my GoFundMe uh, link which I shall place in the details section 
uh, because uh, that's probably all I'll ever get in uh, in reward for my work. And what I've shown you here is just a small part of what I've shared with you publicly. The new calculus is much more than this. And of course, there is a free uh, free book on the new calculus. So if you, I'll also put a link to it. If you come to this site on Academia, I have the book there too. So. Uh, all, all you have to do is just go on there and download it. All right, so it's this book here. And let's go to it. It's this book here. And it's been recently revised. So mainstream academics are incorrigibly ignorant and arrogant, stupid and jealous. And actually they're evil, which makes it just so much worse, you know, um, evil people. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this uh, video. My name is John Gabriel. Till next time, folks. Goodbye.